Welcome, I'm Killer Vandre, Tang Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. I want to share this image with you. We can see here we got Venus, the Sun, Jupiter, Uranus, and the new moon next to Pleiades. These luminaries are moving into the ball, passing the M33. Now, I said in my previous videos we needed to be in a particular state in Christ as these illuminaries pass the M33. Looking upon this image, it feels good. I feel somewhat relieved just looking at this image. I can't explain it. And so I wanted to share this with you. Today, this wonderful sister in Christ from a YouTube channel called A Voice Calling, she shared this message and it was spot on. And I want to share it with you. It says, when talking about the parable of the sower and the four types of soil, Jesus said, if you can't understand this parable, how will you understand any parable? This is so true. And this is why I wanted to share this with you, with the sower. Man reaps what he sows. We needed to get our thought, word and deed in order. And I emphasise the importance about using our imagination, our thought, investing in heaven. This was the greatest of works that you can do in prayer, meditation, creative visualization from the foundation of this journey, from this world. OK, we have we're thirsty for life and we have desires of the heart and learning of the nature of this world. We've turned away from it and invested in heaven. OK. And we've gone out to get knowledge, to listen to the word. OK. That comes through the 144,000, the word that's in us. A parable is a story used to teach a spiritual lesson or principle. Absolutely. OK. Jesus didn't stop talking about the kingdom. This parable, according to him, is clearly foundational to all of his teachings. It absolutely is. First, seek the kingdom. OK. The kingdom of God is within you. You are the temple of God. And so I found this message to be really spot on. Now, she says this. Jesus is the seed. He is planted in the earth, planted in you. OK. And the same power that raised him up from the dead has been spreaded, spread, spread in his seed in humble, desiring hearts and growing his kingdom ever since through us. OK, that's what I'm saying through us. His body continues to spread, branching forth in the earth. Now, we are the branches. Jesus Christ is the vine. OK, so I'm just giving some additional information from what it is that I know in connection with this wonderful message that she's been sharing with us today. It's amazing. That power is working to bring the kingdom to fullness in preparation for the harvest. We are waiting for this wonderful transformation, the harvest. And as I've been pointing to May in the ancient Egyptian calendar seasons, May is the harvest. In this parable, he is the master gardener and the farmer. He prepares the soil, plants the seed, grows the crop, and he will return to gather his harvest. OK. We are the fruits given to the Father and he comes down to us with the new heaven and earth abides in us, among us as we move into the new age. So that was a wonderful message from a voice calling. Now, listen to this, Matthew thirteen thirty nine. The harvest is is the end of the age, right? We are at the end of the age, also termed as the end of days. It's the end of the age. Jesus Christ said, this is the birthing pains, the end of the age. We are moving into a new age. We want to be in Christ in a particular state of being to enter into that blessed hope. So the harvest is the end of the age and the harvest, the harvesters are angels and we are the angels. OK, he makes known the end from the beginning, 
what was the beginning the garden eden which was cut down i mentioned all this in my previous videos in the end we have the garden and we've been doing the works in the field with the father who creates our eternal heavenly home not made of human hands now listen to this well, i'll just stop there okay Colossians 1 19 for God in all his fullness God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ all right for God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ many would say hang on a minute but I thought Christ was God and it is let me go on Galatians 4.19, my little children of whom I travel in birth again until Christ be formed in you. OK, so Christ is being formed in us. Let's go back. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. Now you can see what it means in scripture when he says he's going to come down and abide in us. He's being formed in us. All right. The new heaven and earth that comes down to us. The moving into the new age. Remember the great mystery hid from the ages, from the generations, the Gentiles, now revealed to the saints to reveal the wonderful mystery that Christ is in you. I say this because many are still not getting it, looking for a Christ outside there. <coughs> Excuse me. Matthew 13, 43. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. We know he's in here. We are the temple of God. That's why it refers to the father in that way. He who has ears, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is like the treasure hidden in a field. It's in here. The treasure of treasures. When a man finds it, he, he, hide, he hid it again. And in his joy... He went and sold all he had and brought that field. In other words, turning away from everything, his old belief systems, that old way of thinking, it now is focused on the kingdom within him. Okay. Now, I also want to share this with you. This is from the Emerald Tablets of Foth. This may seem random. Again, everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. There, when my work am among men has been finished, will I join the great ones of my ancient home? Foth is referring to us here that this is not his world, okay? That he has a home elsewhere, which I've mentioned in my previous videos. It's never felt like my home. I know my home has been elsewhere and we're moving into a future to catch ourselves up back in that age, all right? And we were shown glimpse of the foundation of that home before the foundation of this journey world. And while we've been in our journey, we've been getting glimpse of that heavenly state of that future. OK, hence. We take with us that which we have from the foundation of the earth, from the journey. All right. We, there was a reason why we've been going through these ages, through this journey, going through the seven eyes of the Lamb. OK, and now we're at that point of harvest, the final destination, which was how. OK, we want to get out of here. All prophesied in scripture. And I've talked a lot about this in my previous videos. I urge you to go over for the wonderful jigsaw puzzle pieces of gold. Things will shout out at you. Now, I'm going to give a very basic insight. Now, into things I've said in my previous videos to give more jigsaw puzzle pieces of gold, additional information. Because we're go I'm going to carry on with this passage. Seven, now then remember, this is the Emerald Tablet of Foth, the Emerald Tablets of Foth. Seven are the mansions of the House of the Mighty, right? And we need to be in this state, the seven sisters, the seven the seven stars or the seven lights, the lampstands that Christ holds in his right hand. All right. Which means free the captives. I've got it tattooed on my hand. All right. It's pointing to this. We needed to be in this particular state. 
a heavenly man. Remember that old axiom, as above, so below, as within, so without. The heavenly man, and then you've got the earth man. When spirit comes to visit, as I mentioned, and sees that you're transformed as the heavenly man, well, there's the harvest, the fruits for spirit. Okay, hope that makes sense or sank shouts out at you there. <laughs> Free guard the portals of each house from the darkness. Okay, don't worry if you don't get this. Orion. Fifteen, the ways that lead to the duat. Twelve are the houses of the lords of illusion. This is the constellations, the twelve constellations of Zodiac on a bowl. This is how I got to learn them. All right, just stick them on a bowl. <laughs> and remember, I revealed to you before the end of 2023, this secret constellation. Okay. We go through the 12 constellations for our journey, through 12 states, through the spectrum, the spectra. Okay. Being tried and tested, being formed. Okay. Whereby you will wear the crown. Okay. The 12 constellations. You would have gone through, well, many of us have gone through the 12 states and it's been a very arduous process. OK, hence uh, another connection in accordance with this is the seven eyes of the lamb. OK, and there is a hidden eye, the eighth eye, which I've mentioned in my previous videos. OK, so 12 are the houses of the Lords of the Illusion this world okay facing four ways remember the four faces of the ram i've mentioned in my previous videos this is also in connection with the four seasons remember the the illusion and i showed you the egyptian seasons they had three the third one was the harvest which was in may hence you got to pay attention the four quarters, the four seasons of this world, right? Each of them different. Forty and two are the great powers. This is in connection with the shadow century, the simulation matrix, all right? The world of illusion. It's a very well orchestrated, designed, quantum, biological world covered up in organic vegetable matter. <laughs> That's a lot to get out, <laughs> right? The worlds are created through the word. And we've been going through the duat through these ages. It's not the real reality. It's a very well designed realm for a particular reason. That's what I'm getting at. Judgment, uh, sorry. Um, 40 and 2 are the great powers judging the dead who seek the portal. Remember, I've already talked about the portal in my previous videos. So I want to share that with you. Let me pause that there. Now, remember, we are the heavenly man, a new creature, a new creation, and the heavens expand. We multiply and we are heading towards our heavenly eternal home, a future. Remember, he says, my will is not to hurt you, but to give you a wonderful future that prospers you. But do the works, okay? Let your hand not be idle. This passage is from the Emerald Tablets of Foth. Know you, the future is never in fixation. Now, I've also revealed in these videos that the mansions, This is these are the mansions, all right? And your heaven, your mansion, the place that you're going is from the foundation of your journey, from your heart's desires. If you've been paying attention to me throughout these videos, that will shout out at you. So know you, the future is never in fixation. It, in fixation. It's not fixed, okay, because you are working with the creator. Remember, we serve him day and night. The word, everything that's created from the word, for the word, by the word. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> from the word, for the word, by the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was a God, and the word was God. And the worlds are created through the word. And we now know the word is in our heart and on our tongue. The Christ is being formed in us. Okay. 
there's this wonderful verse where he says, I travel with you again in birth until Christ be formed in you. As I mentioned, right? It's all in here. Also, I'm going to write it's on my mind. It says, all things are yours, whether Paul or Polis, Cephas of the world, life or death, or the present or the future. The future. All things are yours. You are in Christ and Christ in God. It doesn't mention about the past. Why? I found this really strange. If you go in the ancient texts and you really seek in the depths of God, questioning and turning to spirit, you will. many of us are in the re realisation, the possibility, the revealing that we've retrograde. We go back to come into these worlds because creation is finished. There is a reason why you are in these worlds. All right. Hence the mention of ancient days, etc. I retrograde. We come back to right the wrongs, so to speak, to go through the atonement, to go through a process which was horrendous. But out of it is great reward. OK, which I've talked all about throughout these videos. OK. But but follows man's free will as it moves. So let me say that again. Know you, the future is never in fixation, but follows man's hearts. All right. Follows man's free will as it moves through the movements of time space, these journeys towards the goal where a new time begins, a new timeline. Got to pay attention to what folk is saying here. OK. And this is what I've been alluding to throughout these videos. This new timeline, we meet up with ourselves where there is this ancient place we call home. Right. And the way that we get there, when we get there, we are then in the expanse, the expansion, the, the uh, multiplying, catching up with ourselves in our eternal heavenly home after leaving the Ouroboros, the Exodus. Sorry if that's confusing, okay? What is the goal, the end goal, right? Is to get past the finishes, finishing line with the crown, eternal life, okay? We put on eternity now. All right, life, to get out of the world of the dead. Man can only read the future through the causes that brings the effects. Seek thee within the causations and surely you shall find the effects. First, seek the kingdom within you. Once you find that, you're going to see the face of God. You're going to see the manifestations of your cubic reality as within, so without, as above, so below. You start to get the framework and understanding of consciousness as you as a co-creator being in spirit and in truth. Sorry if that's a bit much. It may go over your head. All right. Our conscious or subconscious is part of Adam. The rib being taken out of Adam, which creates Eve. I make known the end from the beginning. What was the beginning? It was Garden Eden, as I've mentioned. The root was cut down. The garden was destroyed. We are now restored with the serpent the tree adam and eve the conscious and subconscious the soul and source the conceiver and conception all right it's the alchemical marriage back to a husband the father the maker all right where we are being restored and the next phase is restoration healing as we move into that wonderful future that prospers us there's no more curse and the evils vanish away. And this is all from the harvest when Jesus Christ comes to reward all those who have done the works. And we are in that season. This is what we are watching out for. OK. <laughs> Hence, you would feel it within you and you you will know when you are home. You're going to feel it. Like I said, I become more hypersensitive feeling again. The heart becomes as flesh. And when I see these images and the way that I've been feeling, it denotes to me the period that we're in, what I have what I have gone through and what it is that I can expect. OK, and that's from receiving knowledge from spirit. 
studying day and night over these years and spirit has got me on here to share this with you so you can grasp a, for yourselves roughly where we are and i'm saying i'm shouting out to you it's here all right so keep watch i'm kenneth andre tango gypsy master and mystic ninja love you guys have a good day <laughs>